Hey friends, welcome to another studio vlog. It's me, Jess. If you're new here, I, I'm Jess. God, I suck at this. Hey friends, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Jess from Love Jess. Why do I keep doing this to my Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jess. Welcome to another studio vlog. It's Monday and I'd like to say that it's Monday morning because that's what productive people would say. But unfortunately, as you can see, it is nighttime uh, and I'm just finally getting a chance to start my work day, night, I don't know. <laughs> Um, my husband has been extremely busy at work the last couple weeks and we were at the beach prior to that. So I have not had a lot of time to focus on my business. <sighs> it's been an adventure. Um, so I'm finally getting to sit down now and the kids are in bed. I am able to get some work done. I have some really big projects and deadlines coming up that I really need to focus on and work on. So that is what I'm going to be doing. I have some big stuff that I need to get done for Ranger. Um, I have some videos that I need to film for Arteza. Um, and then I am going to just throw my name out there and apply for the Archer and Olive design team. I'm pretty positive I won't get it. Um, and that's okay, but I just at least want to put my name out there and let them know that I'm interested. Um, and maybe like, you know, put something on their radar that they didn't know was out there or like, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I thought I was going to be done with design teams and that I didn't really like want to do that, but I've kind of been having this like renewed vigor for planning. And so maybe it was just that I needed a shift. Um, and maybe that is something that I will feel fulfilled doing. So I would at least like to try it. It's not a very long term. It's like half a year, I think. Um, but chances are I probably won't get it, but I at least want to put my name out there. So that's on my list for this week as well. I'm going to be working on my planner spreads for September because it's the 30th of August right now and I haven't even finished my spreads. Uh, so <laughs> I've been planning them at least starting last night and then I'm going to go ahead and um, start working on them. Anyway, I'll be doing a plan with me video, hopefully for real this time. Last month I said I was going to do one and I still have all the footage from that, but I haven't actually published it yet. So that's also on my list. It'll just be late. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and get into it.
working on my video for Arteza and I am swatching out all of the acrylic paint markers and I still have a few left to do, this many. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm basically just drawing a little swatch of each and then drawing on a swatch of the black and then writing on the white and then over on top of the black just so I can see kind of how they work. Yay! <laughs> All right, I think it is about time to say goodbye to our garden. Does it have to? I don't think so. I, what happened basically is we got busy and we stopped tending to it very well. Our cucumbers have died. I mean, they're still, they're not 100% dead, but they took a hard hit when it was super, super hot and not raining. And we just weren't out here tending them very well. Our tomatoes are pretty ragged and gross looking. The squash never really took off this year. And then when we stopped taking care of it, it was attacked by bugs and it just looks horrible. So I think honestly, I, I think we're gonna get rid of everything and just start prepping for next year. Um, because the stuff that's here is, it's got uh, bacteria like um, we would have to spray it heavily with pesticides and antifungal stuff and I just I don't feel like it's worth trying to keep it alive just to have to throw away all the produce because it's got chemicals and stuff on it so anyway I think we're gonna spend a little bit of time getting rid of the tomatoes probably the cucumbers um, and, and just trying to clean it up and make it fresh and revitalize. And then maybe we'll plant some fall crops as far as um, like a cover crop so that it can get ready for next year. We may plant a few things like carrots. Um, I don't know, just a couple things that can survive in the cooler temperatures and still thrive. Um, but it'll probably still be warm here for quite a while. Um, but... Yeah, I don't know. We're just gonna start cleaning things up and say goodbye to our garden for this year. Okay, I am working. It's night time on Thursday night and I'm feeling a little stressed. Hold on, let me pause this video. Um. <laughs> I was watching somebody on Twitch. Sorry about my hand. Uh, anyway, yes. So I'm a little stressed out right now. It is Thursday night and I have been working on a variety of things. I have a lot of outstanding projects right now that I am trying to kind of like crack down and get done. But I have so much going on in my normal life as well that it is extremely difficult to get everything done right now. And my husband's very busy at work. And so it's just been, it's been a lot. Okay, so what I have to get done is I need to work on this video that I am filming for Arteza. Arteza, Arteza, how do you guys say it? I don't know which one's right. I always say Arteza, but I'm not sure that that's accurate. Anyway, um, I'm filming for them for the acrylic paint markers. Um, I'm doing a review video for that. I have those and then I also have a full set of 120 Inconic fine liner pins that I cannot freaking wait to try. I haven't tried them yet. Um, <clears throat> so I'm filming that. I need to film 28 cards for uh, some projects that I have for Ranger, <laughs> plus a separate project that I have for Ranger um, that's due, I think, on the 20th. Then I also have a class with Michaels and Ranger that I'm going to be teaching um, on the Michaels website in November. Um, and I have to plan that, get the supplies, make the samples, send them over for approval, get them all set up for that uh, and then send the invoices and like figure everything out for that um, and that includes like photographing the projects once I have them so I have to plan the whole thing and then uh, make the project photograph it send that over for approval and then once that's good to go then I can kind of sit it on the back burner because it's kind of just like a sit and wait sort of thing but that is due 
I need that in by the 10th because <laughs> my contact at Ranger is going to be on vacation. So anyway, um, I got to work on that. Then I also want to work on um, an application for Archer and Olive, um, even though I'm probably like not going to get that at all. I really want to at least apply and put my name out there. I think I mentioned that at some point earlier in this video, but I want to do that. So that's kind of on my list this week as well. And I have to film another plan with me video solely because like this week is going to end and then I'm going to need the next weeks and I, I'm so behind on actually getting my bullet journal like set up for the month um, just because the end of last month was a little chaotic with beach week and all of that. Anyway, a lot going on. I'm rambling. I'm sorry. Um, I guess I'm just going to keep working because that is the only way that I'm going to make progress. So um, yeah, I'm going to start doing that. And also, um, side note, I really also want to like make more designs for my Etsy shop. Um, and then, uh, figure out Patreon. That is something that I have really been like wanting to figure out. Um, I don't know. I'm just nervous about it. I feel, I think I have like 7,400 subscribers right now and it feels I feel nervous, like I'm too small, like I shouldn't have a Patreon. But then also I see other artists and illustrators and things like that who have a very small following who have Patreon and are successful with it. So maybe I should just stop like doubting myself. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel weird. I feel weird about it. But I also really love the idea of the platform and like the community that it could bring. Um, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, okay, let me stop talking and actually get some work done. Okay, I love you. Okay, here I go. Okay, so I have had some opportunities come up, but in order to 
sorry about the Lego noises from the hallway. <laughs> in order to apply for them, uh, you have to have a media kit and I did not have a media kit and I didn't know what a media kit was. So I have created one after a lot of research. Ooh, it didn't print very well. It got cut off at the bottom. Um, it looks very nice in a PDF format though. <laughs> um, so yeah, basically this is it. This is a one page media kit where it has some examples of my work. It has my reach. Um, partnerships that I am uh, kind of promoting, people that I work with, um, and um, a little blurb about me, who I am, a photo of me. It's just sort of like an easy way for a company to decide if they want to work with me, I guess. Kind of like a resume, but for crafting um, or influencer work. But yeah, so now I've created that and um, I am able to go ahead and, and submit that. I printed it, but I should have paid attention to the margins. I don't think it really matters because I'm not giving it to anyone in person, but <laughs> yeah, anyway. And the print colors didn't really turn out exactly right, but it's okay. <laughs> Under, out. Under, out. You got this, keep your legs together. You want to get down? Okay. Alright, I am going to leave the studio vlog here for this week. I basically spent the whole week watching Caterpillar TV, as we have lovingly dubbed it. Uh, yeah, I spent most of the week outside on the side of our house just like watching caterpillars crawl all over the place and I'm hoping that we find some more um, chrysalis. What is the What is the plural of chrysalis? Chrysalids? I feel like I saw someone call it that. Anyway. Um, yeah, I'm hoping we find some more. We still have just the one. I thought it was going to open today and I was going to be able to include it in the video, but so far it hasn't e-closed. That is the, the term, I guess, for butterflies coming out of their chrysalis. Uh, it hasn't done that yet. So yeah, I don't know. I guess that'll be in next week. You'll have to wait with bated breath until next week. <laughs> I don't know if anyone cares about this as much as I do, but for whatever reason, it was a very magical experience for me. So if you hated it, I'm sorry. If you loved it, you're welcome, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, I still have tons to do. I have to get cracking on my plan with me, at least doing the footage because I have no days left in my planner. <sighs> just the kind of person I am. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me for a little while. Cozy vibes. That's apparently what I'm here for. So uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll see you guys next week or sometime this week with another video. Maybe. I love you. Okay, bye.